Hi! Hello everyone, I'm Mimi and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a question for you. What do you think of this color? Do you think it's too much? Too bright? I'm not sure. I think it's pretty, but what do you think? Um, lately I've been feeling like wearing my clothes and for some reason the brighter the color the better. It just makes me feel good. And I'm also wearing these jeans that you probably would never see a 43 year old woman wear. They have these sexy side cutouts. Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? And um, yeah, have fun. Wear what you want. Just do it in a way that's a little more mature than your teenage daughter. Um, today's video is actually going to be about jewelry. Specifically, a Native American owned brand of jewelry whose name I do not know how to pronounce. So, I will put them up here where my hand is eventually in the uh, um, some kind of software that I use to edit it. Edit. Um, and because I want to show you the full effect of these earrings, I am going to be modeling them for you. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I love it. On to the modeling show. all the beautiful earrings. I wanted to tell you a little bit more about this company. This company is based in Canada and they are a native owned company. First Nation as they say in Canada. Here we would say Native American. And um, all the jewelry are Native American made. Um, I believe they're made in South America and Mexico by different indigenous groups there. Um, when you purchase them, you have a choice of getting silver, uh, stainless steel, or nickel plated, I believe, uh, alloy hoops. And my ears are very sensitive, so I got mine all with um, sterling silver. Um, they retail between $15 and $68, so they are a bit pricey. And when I purchased mine, um, they were on sale and they weren't very much on sale. I purchased them with some birthday money that I got um, last month. They did take a while to ship here from Canada. Um, they took about a month, but I am so thrilled with my jewelry. Um, so thrilled. I am part Native American and I love to um, support Native American brands and businesses. And I actually found this company on Etsy, believe it or not, when I wanted to see if there was any Native American handmade things that I could find on there. And I found this, and the jewelry is absolutely fantastic. It's so beautiful. Um, the beads are lovely. Uh, the colors are fantastic. I mean, look at these. This is literally a little 3D flower with tassels hanging down. The company, um, the jewelry that this company sells, they're not traditional Native American designs. It's actually beaded fashion jewelry. So um, I really like that about it. Um, it's meant for anyone to wear. Um, it's not traditional costume jewelry, Native American costume jewelry or anything like that. It's just beautiful, beautiful beaded artwork jewelry. Um, I love the quality. I love the sterling silver hoops. They're beautiful. I'll have them linked below. 
if you want to check them out, see what you can get for yourself. They have things like this, which are, to me, very traditional Native American looking. And they also have ones that are super modern art. So if you like that in your beads, you'll love that. They have one pair I almost bought. They're way, way, way too expensive that was made to look like a city skyline. They were beautiful, but I, I couldn't afford them. So um, I gave them a pass. <laughs> um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down and tell me how I can improve. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.